Well, good late evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. Welcome to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on January 15th, 2017. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And right now we're looking at the Grand River in Brantford, Ontario, running through very high levels as the ice jam moved through. So throughout Ontario, we're going to be looking at this up and down temperatures and, of course, levels rising and receding on the rivers. Biggest concern is the large low pressure system moving over northern Europe. This thing stretches from Greenland all the way to Poland. And we're looking at a lot of snow in these areas right here. 14 centimeters every hour. So they'll be looking at, a, at about 30 centimeters of snow in these areas. And very strong winds associated with this whole storm. Sustained winds of 33 kilometers an hour. Very vigorous low pressure system that is spinning. And we're also going to give a quick look here at Tropical Cyclone Berguita who is still churning in the Indian Ocean. Doesn't look like it will make landfall. It's on a southward path right now. Are the large systems that I'm looking at right now is a tropical, tro large tropical depression right in between Australia and New Zealand. Very tight converged low pressure system. You can see they're blocked by two highs. Overlooking Canada, we've got a large low pressure, small low pressure system Coming, sweeping across Ontario right now, bringing a few centimeters of snow overnight. But it's this long line of moisture along the Atlantic provinces that is going to be a wintry mess. Freezing rain associated, strong winds, very dangerous driving conditions, so stick, take care out there, folks. We're going to look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Just had a 4.7 in the North Pole, and that doesn't happen often. If you've been following my channel, it happens maybe once a month, if that. So we'll be uh, keeping an eye on this area, see if there's any more action. Around the world we go. Regular movement in Papua New Guinea. And in the Tonga region, largest being the 5.5 in Papua New Guinea. And moving northward into Japan. Lots of movement. The Alaskan Peninsula, we just recently had a 4.0 off the coast of BC. That's right, folks, Port Hardy area. It's not a common place, but it does happen sometimes. Concerning is these earthquakes in the San Andreas Fault. Around the world we go. Looking at small earthquake swarm, Costa Rica, the Caribbeans, and also a 4.5, 4.4 in Guatemala. Now, recently there's been a lot of volcanoes popping off in that area. Just got a update of Papacatepetl 
in Mexico has just recently erupted as well. Looking at these small earthquakes, 4.4, 4.1, parts of Europe, another 4.0, Turkey, 4.6, sorry, Turkey. Thanks everybody for watching today. I'm pushing 2,000 subscribers, and I have you guys to thank for that. You guys, you guys have inspired me and motiv motivated me to keep going here with Morning Dew. And that is what I'm doing. So here we are. We're going to go around the world. The last seven days for earthquakes. Thanks again, everybody. I get my live streams back very soon. I was thinking on the 11th, but I haven't gotten a confirmation yet from YouTube that I've got them back. So I just wait for the email and we'll be back up and running. Give you a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We will see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe, stay young, and have fun, and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.